Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now before I even start going ahead with this haul, I know that there's a few green beauty bloggers or people who are on a mission to find green beauty or skincare products that are very, very strict and any little thing that people put up on social media that's not 100% organic but it's very low toxin, some people are getting their back up and going, that's got this or that in it. And I just want to say before I start this video, I know not all of these products are 100% organic, but they are low toxin. And sometimes it's hard for people to afford to buy or even source 100% organic products 100% of the time. So these are the best products that I could find in Australia in drugstores. Also, before I begin, I have sourced all of these products from either Chemist Warehouse or Priceline within Australia. I'm not going to go through and tell you every single price of every single thing because I'm not that organized today. I will link everything in the description box down below where I got the product and how much it was. So the first brand I wanted to mention is Sukin. Um, most of you have probably heard of Sukin before. Now. There are a few products I've tried, like their face moisturizer, where I thought, mm, I don't love that. It, I didn't not like it, but it wasn't like a wow product for me. I felt like my skin was asking for more moisture after I applied that product. But in terms of their other products I've tried, I've had no problems with them. I'm using the Hydrating Body Lotion in Lime and Coconut. And again, although these guys are not certified organic, if you have a look at their labeling, that is everything that they don't include. So they're doing pretty well for such an affordable product. The next product I have from Sukin is the Micellar Cleansing Water. I actually got a lot of this on sale at Priceline. They had like 40% off their skincare. So some of this stuff I got for $5 and it's really good. So it just goes to show you don't have to go out and spend $100 on your skincare. So this micellar cleansing water is infused with cucumber and chamomile. It does feel really refreshing and really cooling when you apply it to the skin. It has not irritated my eyes. It's removed my makeup really well. And I'm finding I'm not having to double cleanse as much if I use this to remove my makeup before I wash my face. The next product I wanted to get out of the way next because I gotta be honest, I have zero idea how to pronounce this brand. The brand is Natura Siberica. If you know how to say that better than I did, let me know in the comments below. This is their Oblipika shower gel. Yes, that's right, you heard me. I'm just going to show you what the label looks like because I am really struggling. <laughs> Born in Siberia, made in Europe. So I think that the ingredients and the actual company is in Siberia and then it's manufactured in Europe. So this is the shower gel um, intensive nutrition and hydration and I've got to say I really liked using this. I've only used it a couple of times. It really really hydrated my skin. My skin felt so so soft and smooth after using this. There was two different types of shower gel, two different like fragrances or flavors. This one kind of smells a little bit different. It doesn't smell disgusting. It just smells like an exotic fruit that's not overly sweet or something. I don't know. It's it's a little bit different. I'm happy to keep using it, but I think next time I'll try the other one. I think it was more of a refreshing type one with mint and sort of zesty cooling things in it. The next product is this Swiss Olive Leaf Gel Cleanser. Now, I've got to say, this has probably been the biggest surprise for me performance-wise. If you are not familiar with the brand Swiss, they do supplements and vitamins and obviously now skincare. And I was thinking, mm, I don't know about this. This was so cheap. I think it was like $10 or something. So this is their Olive Leaf Gel Cleanser. It contains glycolic and salicylic acid. 
and it's good for blemish prone skin or people with oily skin because it does remove dead skin and excess oil without you having to scrub every day. So after using this for a couple of weeks, I gotta say, I think it's actually making a pretty big difference for me. Next product is a face moisturizer for daytime. Well, that's what I've been using it for anyway. This is the Company Thursday Plantation. That's what it looks like. And this is their face moisturizer in replenishing. It has 99.5 naturally derived ingredients. Um, and I really like this because I think it's got lemon, lemon peel oil in it. And I love zesty smelling things. It kind of, it's not overpowering, but it does smell a little bit like lemon. And I kind of like that. Um, the color of this is a little bit different. It's like a, I don't know. I'll see if I can show you. No, that's not going to work. Anyway, the color is kind of a bit of an off color, if that makes sense. No big deal at all. It doesn't affect how it feels on my skin. It's a really nice medium sort of moisturizer. It's quite thin in consistency. Um, doesn't leave any excess moisture on my skin, but doesn't really feel like I'm left wanting more moisture after I apply either. So again, I've, I've been really happy with that. And if you are looking for an affordable product, that's another one I would recommend trying. Next up is an eye cream. This is from People for Plants. It's 91.4 organic certified ingredients, um, fragrance free, vitamin C, antioxidants, omega 9 and 6 and beta carotene. So this is their Kakadu Plum, Calendula and Chamomile. I don't know if I said that right either. I think I need to go back to school and learn how to speak. What do you guys think? Um, so this is, oh, how do I explain it? This is kind of like, it's a cream, but it's almost in between a cream and a gel. It's not like a like white colored thick cream. It's like a cooling sort of gel cream. I'm making no sense, but yeah, this is another really good product to try if you're looking for an affordable eye cream. I've only been using this for a week or so, and I cannot say if it has actually helped fine lines and wrinkles, but it feels really good on my eyes, and it's very low toxin, cruelty-free, Australian-made, and I'm happy to recommend that too. So the last product I wanted to share with you is this goodness every evening cream. I believe this is made in New Zealand and I've thrown out the box which had all the ingredients on it so that is super helpful. <laughs> anyway, this is so yummy. That's the only way I can explain it. It is a super, super thick cream. It's like really, really, really thick. So obviously evening creams are there for hydrating and, and replenishing your skin. I think this actually has chia seeds and a few other things in it, but it smells, oh, I can't explain it. It smells really sweet and creamy, but it's such a soft smell at the same time. So I found that that's not been too oily for my skin. I haven't broken out using it. Um, and I just want to eat it. <laughs> So again, that is something else that is a really good alternative to the more expensive night creams that are available that are 100% organic. This, um, again, is more of a low toxin option, but it's definitely a good one. Um, it's more affordable and it feels really nice. So I'm happy to recommend that. So that's it for my drugstore, natural and affordable, low toxin skincare haul. I hope that you found it helpful. Please don't forget to thumbs up if you liked my video and subscribe if you haven't already for my future hauls, reviews and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.